Well, good morning, fish heads. Welcome back to the channel. It might not be morning. Maybe it's afternoon for you guys. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates, and we've got another quick update for you guys this morning, and then we'll get you right back into your day. I wanted to thank all of you guys for participating in the Instagrams platform. It's the first contest that I've done over there with a giveaway, and you guys really responded well. And I get a lot of comments, as a matter of fact, from that. I got a lot of comments over here on the channel. Do I do giveaways here? If you're new to the channel, then you might not realize that I do them several specific times of the year. Um, and I'm, the next one that I'm going to do here is when we hit 10K. So I'll have something really cool for you guys. Uh, I'm sure it's going to involve custom baits like this. But in the meantime, I just wanted to congratulate Alan Kicker once again for his uh, winning comment. I did a randomizer. I always do that because I think that that's the only true fair way to do it. Um, you have to be subscribed to the platform. We do check that and then a comment for what pattern you wanted to see on this baby bull shot. His was yellow perch. So this is going out to him this morning. Thank you guys so much for all the participation. Lots of really great comments, lots of really good ideas. So I, I promise you, I will be making the best of that and doing some spray sessions from some of your ideas. I think that's only fair. And you guys comment all the time, do I do giveaways over here? Absolutely I do. So one of the things, if you're new to the channel and maybe you're just jumping on because you've seen me through Catchco and some of the stuff that we're doing and collabing with Mike Buca, um, maybe you have not spent a whole lot of time on this channel yet. So go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. That will get you registered for the next giveaway. Um, most of you guys may or may not realize that um, it, it does help me put supplies back into this channel so that I can continue to teach you guys and give you guys some really awesome custom lore ideas. Um, it, it goes right back into Feeding the Fam. So I certainly appreciate the view and the support. And it's essential for any small business to have that revenue stream, especially if we're going to be teaching you guys how to do what I do. So I am eternally grateful and humble for all of your support. Um, but in order to be qualified for any giveaways, you got to be subscribed to the channel. So go ahead and do that for me now. And you guys may not realize, but about 55% of you that regularly watch this channel are not subscribed, which is okay, but it will help qualify you for the next giveaway which is coming soon because we're almost at 10k and then of course the next one is probably going to be 50k and then there's going to be a massive giveaway at 100k in the interim i do uh, giveaways christmas time a couple of different times of the year i run really big sales on the website so if you go to www.checklebaits.com that will end my shameless plug and look for sales and a lot of times i'll run ads here on this channel but again, Alan Kicker, thanks so much. You guys had some really awesome comments over on Instagram. This crawl, I just finished, and it's going out to Will. Just a fun crawl. It's basic stenciling. Um, these 2.5 square bills come pre-foiled. They're awesome. Uh, they really, really, really show off well when you're using transparent paint. You can see that I've got them with several different layers of paint on here and you can still see that foiling shining through, which is one of the things that I like about it. I picked this up from Cedar Run. I also picked up another really cool 1.5 from him, which kind of reminds me of the, the shape of the man's, the, the baby ones, kind of has that nose. Um, but this is a 1.5, it, swim, it swims incredibly, incredibly well. And when I find really good hidden gems that not only look good, but feel good, they're weighted well, the weight distribution is good. You guys can hear that. It's a fantastic rattle. These eyes came from Jets and Lure Eyes, so go visit John over there. It's jetsandlures.com. I always try and give you guys credit where I'm picking stuff up, regardless of whether it's from Brian over at Dinger, who has been good to me for years, um, or Andrew at Cedar Run, or Tim over at Crossroad always try and give you guys props because you're small businesses as well and there's a lot of really awesome people out there that want to buy your blanks and your accessories and your eyes and all that kind of stuff so i do what i can to give back to you guys but this is great these eyes are not from john um i actually got these off of aliexpress 
and I don't think I have a link yet. I can put a link in for you guys, but they're um, they're the freshwater pearl eyes, and they're beautiful, and they really complement this particular style craw. Love doing the shading. This is a little bit more advanced because it actually looks like it's really there. So it's a couple of different tones of gray and black magenta in here to build up, build up the shading. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I pull off shading on crawfish, let me know. Drop a comment down below and I will get you, because it's been a while since I've done a craw pattern. Uh, I used to do them all the time when I started the channel out and I started doing spray sessions, but it's been a minute. So if you guys want to see this particular pattern and how I do it, how I put the shading in and the stencils that I'm using to achieve this look, let me know. I'll be happy to do that for you. This is the S waiver. It's a 168 in a carp pattern. And I don't know if I'm going to pull this over, see if we can get a little bit better on there we go on lighting this morning this is all hand detailed i did every single one of these scales by hand um, i started out with a basic craw or um, a basic carp stencil that i got from russ allen over at insane custom stencils and then i added depth and layer to it by inking every single one of those scales so it did take a good bit of work a lot of depth to the pattern and then added in uh, another set of stencil just to lighten it up and give it a little bit of contrast and those that stencil the scaling stencil and this little dotted modeled stencil came from Brian so again I give you guys all the props that I can give that's where I get my stuff from when I'm not cutting my own stencils and yes this is a legit S waiver 168 here is the packaging for it, and it is going out the door this morning. Along with that particular one, oh, rascal, we're just going to stop here. Now, along with that S waiver, also have this bullshad going out to him. The angry eye bullshad. Lots of depth in that one, too. And pulling off quite a bit of veining that's blue. There's about six or seven different layers on this, and then detailing that's all hand detailed. And it's angry. Real happy with the results on this. And from everything that I saw in commenting from my customer, my client, He's happy as well, so goes out to him this morning. Just finished up a few more of these. Again, I've been saying it. I've got a 50-pack to run through plus orders from you guys from a couple of weeks. Those are going to be getting out the door this week as well. This is just four colors and one stencil. Took me three minutes to pull this crappie pattern off. Super easy. Some upgraded eyes. So that yellow red which you guys can do yourselves as well something really neat about a red sharpie if you do if you kind of color the eyes and then heat set them heat set that sharpie the sharpie will bleed a little bit when you clear coat it but it runs around and it really gives off a natural look to it it lightens up just a little bit as well but it really enhances this is just sharpie on a yellow golden eye that's all that is and I allowed it to heat set I set the uh, eyes overnight I'm getting ready to do another batch and that's a neat little way that you guys can trick out your eyes but we just have uh, some green some black orange yellow just that little bit of fluorescent orange on the throat yellow to accent the pectoral fins and one crappie stencil super easy and it actually looks like the bait it's representing i'm a stickler for that if you're going to buy something it should look like the fish you want it to look like this is a little bit more difficult to pull off but again it's uh, it's a lot of layers it's mesh it's stenciling it's hand detailing 
Love that really light sky blue against that sunset red orange look. Contrasting colors really help bring out. And then there's some shading in the gill plates as well. It's that autumn gill. And then we've got some runts. These are those little two inch Ketchco runts. And um, these I got blank. And then built the pattern, sort of an existing pattern that they have over at uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle. But also added my own flair to it, my own deal. These are also going out this morning to one of my clients. A little bit of gold up top. It's going to help that bait really pop, stand out, and then put tons of like the ice. Uh, there's there's pearlized ice that you can get from Createx. That's really really nice. I think it's something fairly new to them. And then this is their sexy shad. Which again, the, um, these were blank, so I put the pattern on myself and then tricked it out just a little bit from a client. And we also have something just fun goofing around with. Whoa, whoa! Just working on shading there. And tons of depth as well. And then last but certainly not least, Got a couple of rancids going out. Those little nuclear waste sewer rats that you guys love with the fluorescent glow tail. And that is gonna do it for me this morning. Thanks guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate the view. Um, I don't know if I went over this one either. I think I probably did, Andrew over at Cedar Run. Um, it's early this morning, so I'll get some coffee in me. And if I didn't show it to you this time, I'll show it to you next time. Cheers. Happy casting. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you have any questions or you want to see any patterns done, let me know. And I'll talk to you on the next video. See ya.